Hello. So I looked up the word chaos magician on Wikipedia as that seemed to be um, less judgmental and um, less demeaningful meanings um, as the other um, choices to push on the internet to find out stuff did. And so, um, as Wikipedia is quite detached and stuff, um, I did learn some basic terms and stuff and what they meant. Um, one of the most important things that um, I learned from that it was Chaos Magicians use belief as a tool. And that's just wonderful. Um, it's amazing to learn what you want to believe. It's amazing to learn how to believe in different systems that don't integrate, that don't haven't even dreamt of that kind of belief yet. Um, you have to use the right kind of energy and stuff, that's what I found, um, to get the message across. As one could be saying, uh, something, 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 and, you know, it, um, it could be quite accepted in this other system that is, you know, nice and good, and it work all works out, but in this other system, um, they could listen to that, and it could be like, it could be offended or something, and so, to relay the two realities together, to make them understand each other, and create peace towards each other, um, um, in theory, I just take a word from that culture, world, and, uh, say it in this culture and world, and as you say it, um, with your energy, you must believe that it is good, and um, others will not be quite as offended, and they, you will, at least you won't notice them um, being offended, as I have in the past um, been quite conscious of such people noticing that they didn't like me and stuff. Um, it was very violent in my emotions. And this is a scar in me, and I keep it with me. Um, and I kind of had to learn from nothing, as my reality was rearranged in a way that um, everything was kind of fantastical. But at least I had some um, strong mentors along the way. And I pretty much drew from their strength and from context clues of who they were to get through this chaos um, that I didn't understand and couldn't control. So what I do now as I'm emerging from this, as though I'm birthing from this, you know, nothingness, this chaos, this womb, etc., um, is I'm finding my own way. I'm becoming a person in a different kind of sense. It's a new personality being burdened to me. Um, yes, that's attributed with cults, etc. Um, but, you know, if it's already happened, what do I do, you know? Um, I'm not quite one to just go to Christianity and um, get saved there as um, what Christianity does now is relative to what they believed in the past and they indeed could um, persecute um, another for their belief system. Um, it could possibly be relatively better today, um, but it is quite possible as that is a part of their karma and um, you know I just want to watch out for that. Um, yeah. Um, Christianity just seems so strong and prevalent in the ways of America and in the world, I guess, um, that it must have some symbolic and um, real significance of the universe, as Earth could be a microcosm of the universe. I've heard such things in New Age um, literature. Um, and, yeah, so, um, Christianity 
it what I see in Christianity and can say that won't have any um, judgment or hatred bad emotions attached to this um, deducement is that Christianity is strong it has strong effects on people uh, yes um, that is a strength and um, there's many strengths in the world many different kinds of strengths but this is something positive I see in Christianity and I have a little theory that um, since Christianity just loves to control and take things by the reins and it and pretty much a philosophy is um, heaven is better than hell etc so let's go, try to go to heaven um, I think that's like a little framework a little recipe um, to simply apply to all of life um, good is better than bad um, yet at this stage we don't yet know exactly what good and bad is because we haven't learned that um, we haven't really learned everything we don't know who we are a lot of us and so we, how can we know the truth you know um, and you can always rely on God because um, he's there for you etc but um, things are just emerging from the um, all omnipotent Christianity and um, different ways of thinking um, yet we're all humans and we're the same in that respect and um, a family of thought and um, perhaps Christianity just radiates this energy that is a drastic energy um, with drastic consequences for um, its philosophy and really I believe that consequences can be interpreted as drastic if you really aim to do something you really want to do it right you know and doing the tiniest thing wrong can indeed be a drastic um, degradation to your aim um, so just to acknowledge this truth in Christianity this possible truth um, can actually bring light to Christianity as what they really as their message um, could get across in a way that might be acceptable to them and to all um, even more so as consciousness is raised throughout the whole world um, God infuses us with light of course it'll be a slow journey um, people are different and we just have to learn about differences um, uh, yes I have a little um, uh, symbol example of this um, for Christianity I'd say um, Christianity is like a line that goes up and down and um, like long longitude and latitude around the earth um, they're everywhere around the earth and let's just say you could put them in in between and, and just make a whole solid line a whole solid orb um, made of straight lines up and down um, then there is um, what I would call everything but Christianity and um, that goes um, horizontal um, I do this because perhaps um, this these ones are less judgmental and they simply like to embrace things and go on with life as life is everything life is all um, in Christianity you learn things and you progress further and higher I'm putting this into crude terms um, but so in these different religions other than Christianity that um, love and embrace um, they can pretty much choose for themselves as they, as they implement um, laws of Christianity that work for them um, whether to go um, increase go higher or lower um, on the judgment pole um, good judgment and bad judgment are both energies and um, you could learn to ex be accepted and 
um, to learn to be accept both energies um, and have them be less drastic um, you know um, non-acceptance um, harsh judgment is like it's kind of darker and grittier and more extreme perhaps um, good judgment um, going up up the cr the crosses um, middle axis um, good judgment is lighter and um, happier all emotions are good um, and it's light it's just lighter and um, embracing um, as you notice the cross does have both those lines it has a cross and it has up just imagine you could put the um, line down you could put the line up in the middle on top down below um, it doesn't really matter but um, wherever you put the line you can use your own judgment to try to understand what would that mean you know um, you could just interpret things like this in the world into your own terms and that it excites me um, to do so as I'm always coming up with new concepts and bigger and brighter things to follow and um, things that will support me and my energy and intent and will well anyway I'm tired of talking so this is what I learned about a little bit about chaos magic today um, and yes how they um, like the importance of belief. I will see you later. Bye.